we are going to give you a brief overview of some of the questions and concerns that people have about electric vehicles. Absolutely, and during this time, what we hope to do is to create a dialogue and to get you guys a little bit more interested and give you something to think about as you cruise through our racetrack back over here in a brand new 2024 all-electric crossover, Nissan Aria. Well, I think we should get started. What do you think, Ileana? Uh, yeah, let's get started. Let's go. Boom. So the first question everyone always has about electric vehicles is, well, what's it like to drive or ride in one? And my friends, in just a few moments, you'll be able to gauge that for yourselves. Super easy. All right. Now, let's keep in mind that EVs are a lot like normal and traditional vehicles, you know, minus the frequent trips to the gas station, road noise, nasty, icky fuel emissions, and what else do we have? Oh, the costly maintenance. No need for costly maintenance in an EV. Mm -hmm. There you go. And the performance as well, right? The performance, the handling, the drive. Absolutely. What we're basically trying to tell you is EVs are a blast to drive. Absolutely. Now, the next most important question and popular question that we get is about range. How far can you drive on a single charge, right? You guys have probably wondered that before. Me too. Well, I can tell you that Nissan is a true innovator and just... In the, sub, in the class, it's absolutely amazing. We've been around since 2010, and back then we even had a phrase for people's anxiety, and it was range anxiety. Ooh, range anxiety is a term and a sentiment of the past, everyone. Now, the way that these vehicles are constructed, that is not really a thing. Not really a thing. Nissan really is a pioneer when it comes to these things. So, the range anxiety, as we said, it is gone, and the today's EVs, including the Leaf and the Aria, have more advanced battery chemistry, which is what does produce a lot more range in between charges. Check us out, 304, 212. Come on, Leaf and Aria, we love to see it. There you go. Absolutely. Not too shabby. Mm -mm. How about this question here, Chadwick? Let's talk about... There's a lot of public charging stations out there as well. Yes, the public charging. There's public charging, there's also private charging, and they're coming up a lot more frequently, especially right here in California, anywhere. Where can we find these things? You can find them all over the place. Also, if you guys haven't learned about our intelligent route planner, this is something super cool. Have you ever been on a trip and you're like, I don't know if my if my car if it's going to be able to make it, or I don't know where to charge if I'm on a road trip? The Intelligent Route Planner takes care of that for you. Not only will it map out the most efficient route for you around town and on a road trip, but it'll actually tell you where to stop for a charge and for how long. It's pretty cool, right? That's pretty impressive, yeah. to be honest. Well, check this out. Did you know that there's actually a husband and wife duo who are currently driving an Aria between both the North and South Pole right now? They actually cross over the equator sometime in late September, and they are heading on south as we speak. I'd be more nervous about running into a polar bear than actually running out of a charge. You know, polar bears are a little scary, but when it comes to charging, there's so many other things to worry about, to be honest. These EVs are very well equipped with the mileage. That is true. One thing that you can do to figure out exactly how much you drive in a day, to, and that helps you determine whether or not an EV works for you, is to track your daily mileage. Absolutely. If you were to just jot down what your daily mileage is for a couple weeks and compare it to the estimated mileage of all the other vehicles that you are considering, gauge what it is that you're looking for. <laughs> <I need some. laughs> Absolutely. And if we're talking about ease of ownership, let me tell you, my friends, on every single Aria and Leaf, we have a very cool program for you. It's called Nissan EV Carefree Plus, and it comes standard on every single electric vehicle we make. It's giving you EV charging assistance, that's for home as well as public. Matter of fact, on the Aria, you can actually get through EV, our buddies at EV Go, unlimited charging for a whole year. How long? A whole year. Wow. Not too shabby. Savings. You're also getting EV battery health assurance, Ooh. three years or 36,000 miles of included maintenance, ah. as well as EV roadside assistance for three years or 36,000 miles. So that. For me, that would take the stress right out of the situation. We hope it does the same thing for you. Absolutely, and it's so impressive, my goodness. So here's another common question, Chad. Riddle me this. What about charging? I'm so glad that you asked. There are a number of ways to charge. Now, most people will just charge at home, right? If you own an EV, set up a charging system at your home. If you don't have the ability to do that, if you're in an apartment building or a condo, 
you can actually have them set up charging stations for you there, and a lot of condo associations and apartment buildings are already doing that. So people charge at work. I know Nelson does. He, he likes to charge at work. He's, he's that guy. You get that charge, Nelson. However, if you don't have that as an option and you live well, in a metropolitan in area like Los Angeles, here's the thing. There are enough public charging stations to get you from A to B and then back again. No problem whatsoever. A, B, and C. There you go. They're all over the place, my friends. Parking lots. We're talking about shopping malls, gas stations even, believe it or not. It's counterintuitive, but you can get charging stations at a gas station. They're even here at the convention center. What? Right here in the convention center garage. That's awesome. Over here, we have our buddies at EVgo with the level three charging station. That will give you 75 miles of charge. How long? In just five minutes. How many minutes? Five. Under 10 minutes. So I can go to Starbucks. I can get a coffee, okay, come back, okay. and get right back in my car and go. You absolutely can. So as we're saying, ample public and private charging stations. That's another thing to just keep in mind if you're shopping for an EV. Well, how about this one? Why do EVs cost so much? Do they? I think it's subjective, but to be honest, they don't really cost that much, aside from a lot of our high-end and luxury EVs that we see on the road now in current day. But the major difference in cost is the battery system yep. versus the internal combustion engine. Now, EVs are becoming more affordable every year as new EVs are created and rolled out for all of us to enjoy and see here. And there are actually more than 40 models of electric vehicles currently available in the U.S. today. They range from ultra-luxurious to pickups to even our Nissan Leaf right over here on display, which starts at just over $28,000. Not too shabby. Don't forget about e-bikes and scooters. We don't make those. Okay, well, that's true. We don't. Charge them if you like, though. <laughs> Let's talk about affordable lease deals and these range of federal and state EV taxes. Yes. So we're currently running a nice federal rebate on the LEAF, which is actually $3,750. You heard it here first, folks. $3,750 right back to you when the new lease or purchase of a LEAF. That is a nice tax credit. You do want to talk to your tax professional about that specifically, because anytime we get into a tax credit situation, you always want to involve your tax professional or your CPA, but she is right. $37.50 tax credit available to you and the lease deals are absolutely amazing. So you can actually have the dealership pass the savings of the tax credits on to you through those lease deals. Absolutely. Boom. There's the $37.50 we talked about. Don't forget about cleanvehicle-rebate.org. That has all the information you could want on incentives as well as tax credits. That's right. If you like saving money, this is a site for you. More advantages. Absolutely. So as a potential buyer, it is easy to find the perfect electric vehicle to suit all of your needs and your budget for yourself and your family. You can also look into hybrid electric vehicle systems. And a hybrid is basically just a vehicle that combines both gas and electric power. There you go. Something else to keep in mind, you never have to go to the gas station again. Unless you want a Red Bull. How many Red Bulls did you have today? Three. All right. Just in the last 10 minutes. Is that too many for a short period of time? It like it might be too many. I'm going to cut you off right here. Okay. I think these people have heard us ramble on long enough. Yeah, you think so? Yep. Everyone, sure. we want to talk to you guys about driving at home before we let you enjoy the day and ride on our awesome, luxurious test track right behind us over here. Absolutely. New car for Christmas. I want one. 